Hellboy the Cricket Man. Uh, we got to see it. I wanted to start with uh, what you thought of it. How it compares to the, the first previous Hellboy movies. And what, what you know, was different about this version as far as the Hellboy. The actor to play Hellboy. And then the story narrative. You know, how it felt to you. The, the environment. Everything. To me, I don't think... I don't think no Hellboy is ever going to compete with the first one. I think Brian Perlman did his thing. That was he. He's gonna always be Hellboy to me. Ron but, Perlman. Yeah, Ron Perlman. Yeah, he, for me, he's Hellboy. Like they should have, they should have did them when he was still able to do them. But the movie, it was, it was, it was to the like, it was like the comic. They kept it to the to the comic. The crooked man was crooked. He. he he was an amazing guy. I liked his character. He was evil. And not to give no spoilers or nothing, but it, 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 it was cheesy, but it was like, how can I say, like, that guilty good type of cheesy, like, like you still want to watch it, but you know it's cheesy. It, it was like that. Yeah, and it's, uh, it has this cheesy B movie kind of a vibe, but yeah. you know, like the highs for me for the movie was, you know, it has a uh, kind of like a little bit vibes of Evil Dead and Constantine yeah. and all that supernatural kind of a background compared yeah. to the other movies. The other movies had some supernatural, but more of a flashy, maybe comedic maybe more fantasy kind of a route or, 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 you know, what they was trying to go with direction. But with this yeah. one was more darker. This one was more like, uh, like more claustrophobic as far as like a horror movie would be. Yeah, it wasn't super crazy, scary, anything like that. But it had his horror feel to it. It had his suspense. It had his like questions and you wondering what's going to happen next. And yeah, the Crooked Man to me was like an interesting villain. Like the guy, he looks creepy. You know, he, mm -hmm. he collects souls for the devil. And, you know, just the way, you know, he just has everything and how he's turning into other things and how he was controlling things and how he was manipulating things. I thought, you know, as a villain, he was a right. The movie's not a great, super great, you know, movie that, you know, you're going to be like, wow, this is a classic and you're going to have this on your shelf. But, yeah, it's not the original. It's not the first one. Yeah, it's not it's not shelf worthy or physical copy worthy, but I would say the movie you know, has something good. If you're a Hellboy fan, it has some appeal to it. Yes, if you're a Hellboy fan and you're looking for an accurate comic Hellboy movie, this is the movie for you. Yeah. This is kind of introducing to a younger yeah. Hellboy as well, so yeah, so no spoilers. So you're not gonna get no origin stories. You're not gonna get straight. It's just straight to Hellboy's life. That's it. What he has to do. That's it. You know, origin stories is none of that. Yeah, and I mean the most they did as an origin is like younger Hellboy, maybe probably like one of his first cases. Yeah. Other than that, they kept forward. They, it's like if you already know Hellboy, you, we, we we shouldn't have to keep telling you. His origin, like you already saw it. Exactly. Like they just went, they just went forward with it. They and there's like you said, they they did involve a lot of satanic witches in this one. It wasn't like the other ones. Like the other ones, it was like you knew there was like demon type, like like witch guy. I think it was the first one. He was like a warlock or something. Yeah. Yep. So it was like. This one you saw a lot of witches. Like they really use witches in the a lot of witches, control. a lot of like superstitious, supernatural kind of practices and and mm -hmm. rituals and things like that and objects and items and stuff. And and I also wanted to say like you know as far as Jack Kessie had, the way he played Hellboy, like I was telling you, he gave me like a like how Mickey O'Rourke played Marv in, in Sin City. He had like that kind of a feel, you know, smoking cigarettes back to back, trying to act, you know, like that kind of smooth swag to him as he's talking or trying to be smooth with the swag and all I, that. He really didn't talk too much. He just, he got to the, he just got to the point. Yeah. Yeah. He was straight to the point. That's what he was. Yeah. Like he wasn't confident. 
Hellboy we knew. Because remember, it's back in the days when he first started. So it's like, it's not the Hellboy, the confident Hellboy we know. It's the young, still wet behind the ear Hellboy. Yep. Yep. Well, but I ain't gonna lie. The Crooked Man to me is he stole the movie. Like I liked his like his portrayal of the Crooked Man. Yeah, that's the best things about like movies like that. When you have a movie that has an interesting or formidable opponent or villain, like when you have like a a, a strong villain or a strong you know antagonist that's gonna like you know it's believable that he has someone challenging it just makes yeah. it better like when you have a weak villain it's like uh, it just takes the fun away it's like what's the point where's the challenge and it's like every other storyteller would say you know every great hero needs a great villain and you know at least with this one they they gave us someone you know worthy yeah to me, it's more of a stream and not not go to the cinema. If you a Hellboy fan, then you go to you go to the movies. But for me, it's more of a stay home and stream. Yeah, I would I would definitely agree. Like folks, if you're gonna watch it, you know you're not willing to spend money. Don't want to spend the money. Like yeah, it's a, it's all right. You know, streamer or something you could watch at home and you know. Give it a shot, you know, if you especially if you're a Hellboy fan. So, all right, you let us know in the comment section if you get to watch it, what you think of it, you know, the portrayal as Hellboy, the villain, the crooked man, and overall how the movie was to you.